followed by Ingrid Muller, Leslie Mickelshaw, Ted Winter, and Natalie McAdams. Hi, my name is Anne Ingroton. I live on Grant Street in Sunset Park, a few houses from Santa Monica College. I moved there from Ashland, where I lived a block from the airport, after an airplane crashed in my backyard on April 20th, 1994, uh, endangering my children. My one child was 20 yards away. My others weren't there that day, thanks to the grace of God. Um, I, would, I would like to comment on the, the report that was given. Um, I, would, I see the five positions. Number one, close the airport. Number two, close the airport and list. Number three, it's not community compatible. It can be open only if. Number four, open only if because closing is impractical based on battling the FAA. So you have four positions that are basically focused on closing. The last one is status quo. If this city council in three years keeps the airport open and chooses that fifth position status quo with a few mitigations, you will have betrayed the people of the city of Santa Monica and the surrounding communities. I wish we had a system of election where each community of Santa Monica, a, a, a geographical representation, because if we had a representative, that representative would really fight for us. And I don't see that in the current council. Um, so that's my comment on the positions, that it's really, thank you to the people who pointed out that it's 80% close and 20% status quo. Um, as I look at the thematic outcomes, and thank you, Daniel, for reporting on the thematic outcomes, they, they're so full of positive, friendly, lovely words. The green airport, the community-friendly airport, uh, the design improvements. Um, we didn't have the words noise, pollution, or danger. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.